Hi, today we are going to study about carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are the most abundant organic compounds in the plant world. They provide chemical energy such as glucose, starch, and glycogen. They are components of supported structures in plants, or we call it as cellulose, as crustacean shells, chitin, connective tissues in animals, as acidic polysaccharides. They are essential components of nucleic acids, as D-ribose and 2-deoxy-D-ribose. Carbohydrate means hydrates of carbon and derives from the formula CN in the brackets H2OM such as number 1 glucose or blood sugar C6H12O6 O6, which can be written as C6 in the bracket H2O 6 times number 2 sucrose or table sugar C12H22O11 which can be written as C12 in the bracket H12O 11 times The term saccharides because of their sweet taste in Latin saccharum means sugar Carbohydrates are classified as 1. Monosaccharides 2. Disaccharides 3. Oligosaccharides or polysaccharides depending on the number of simple sugars they contain. Monosaccharides have general formula CN, H2N, ON with one of the carbons being the carbonyl group of either an aldehyde or a ketone. Monosaccharides containing an aldehyde group are classified as aldose. Those containing a ketone group are classified as ketose. The suffix also indicates that a molecule is a carbohydrate. And the prefix 3, tetra, pans, and so forth indicate the number of carbon atoms in the chain. See the example. Name the sugar below based on the carbonyl group and the number of carbons. The first thing to notice is whether the oxidized carbon is an aldehyde or a ketone, which indicates whether the sugar is an aldose or a ketose. Okay, because uh, the functional group in that structure is aldehyde, so its name is aldose. Count the number of carbon atoms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And it has 6 total carbons, so the sugar is a hexose. Hex means 6. The sugar is called an aldohexose. See the question. Give the correct names for the sugar shown below. There are 4 parts. Parts A, Part B, Part C, and Part D. Next is about D and L monosaccharides. D is destro means uh, right and L is levo means left. There are two structures. The first structure has OH group on the right side. And the second structure has OH group on the left side. So the name of that structure is D glyceryl dehyde and L glyceryl dehyde. It depends on the deposition of OH. Next, monosaccharide. How to memorize monosaccharide? By GGF. G, first G means glucose, and the second G is galactose, and F is fructose. Since the position of OH group in the carbon atom number 5 is on the right side, so we have to add D or destro means right before its name. And how to differ glucose and galactose? See the OH group on the glucose structure. It has OH group on the right side.
a disaccharide is composed of two monosaccharides linked together. Maltose, lactose, and sucrose. Glucose plus glucose linked together become maltose. Glucose and galactose linked together become lactose. And glucose and fructose linked together become sucrose. Polysaccharides A polysaccharide is a polymer of many monosaccharides joined together. Four important polysaccharides are amylose, amylopectin, cellulose, and glycogen are all polymers of D-glucose that differ only in the type of glycosidic bonds and the amount of branching in the molecule. Starch Starch, a storage form of glucose in plants found in rice, wheat, potatoes, beans, and cereals. Starch is composed of two kinds of polysaccharides, amylose and amylopectin. Glycogen Glycogen, or animal starch, is a polymer of glucose that is stored in the liver and muscle of animals. Cellulose is the major structural material of wood and plants. Example, cotton is almost pure cellulose. Cyclic structures of monosaccharides. To this point, we have been representing monosaccharide as a straight chain or fissure projection. However, with pentoses and hexoses, the most stable forms are actually ring structures containing five or six, at six atoms. These rings are known as Howard structures or Howard projection, and they represent cyclic hemiacetals. Howard projections, a common way of representing the cyclic structure of monosaccharides, is the Howard projection, named after the English chemist Sir Walter and Howard, Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1937. See the structure, how to convert Fisher projection to Howard projection. You have to take note that if, if you want to redraw, you have to show the OH on carbon number 5 close to aldehyde on carbon number 1. One, two, three, four, five, and 6. There are two types of Howard projection of D-glucose. See the two structures. On the left side, we call it as beta D-glucose. And on the right side, we call it as alpha D-glucose. The main point is, for the, B, for the beta uh, structure, O and OH close together. And for alpha, O and H atom close together. Next, about sucrose, a unit of alpha d glucopyranose and a unit of beta d fructofuranose join together. In sucrose, carbon 1 of alpha d glucopyranose bonds to carbon number 2 of d fructofuranose by an alpha beta 1 2 glycosidic bond. Questions. Why are some carbohydrates called saccharides? Number two. What is the difference in structure between an aldose and a ketose, between an aldopentose and a ketopentose? Three, which carbon of an aldopentose determines whether the pentose has a D or an L configuration? Which of the following compounds are D monosaccharides and which are L monosaccharides? And draw its Howard projection. Following is a structural formula of a disaccharide. Part A, name of two monosaccharide units in the dis disaccharide. B, describe the glycosidic bond. I think that's all. Thank you.